The following week at Columbus, Ohio, we watched one of the outstanding offensive battles of the season between the Buckeyes of Ohio State and the Spartans of Michigan State. In the first quarter, we find the Buckeyes on Michigan State's 19-yard line as Vic Janowicz passes to Ray Hamilton for an Ohio State touchdown. Hamilton makes a great catch between two Spartan defenders. But the Spartans came right back. In the second quarter, they drove to the Ohio State two-yard line where we see Don McAuliffe crash over for the touchdown. watch Michigan State's defense as they stop Vic Janowicz's touchdown attempt over right guard from the three-yard line. In the last quarter, Ohio State's Tony Crisillo on a beautiful fake spots Hamilton alone on the five-yard line, and Hamilton goes the rest of the way to put Ohio State in the lead 20-10. at those happy Buckeye fans. But they weren't happy for long as Michigan State came roaring back. Al Doro completely fools the Buckeye defense as he throws a touchdown pass to Paul Decker. Then came the turning point of the game. Ohio State's Bob Kepnick on a handoff from Cursillo fumbles. And Bob Carey recovers for Michigan State. Ohio State floundered in 51's race, but they bounced right back with 23 returning lettermen. Coach Woody Hayes lost All-American Vic Janowicz and two other regulars from the Buckeye backfield unit. But he has John Borton in the quarterback spot, one of the best operators in the conference. Veterans Bob Kepnick and Tony Cursillo shifted to halfback and fullback. Captain Bernie Skabarka and Fred Bruni hold down the left halfback spots. Last year, the Buckeyes had a new coach and a new system. This year, they're set to go all the way.